the two kills you keep in. Um, in the first half, take us through what your offense has struggled what the uh, team was going at that time. Yeah, well, I think the, the biggest thing we were having struggles with is uh, you can't turn the ball over. You know, I think we turned the ball over uh, three or four times in the first in the first half, and uh, you can't you can't be a successful offense that way. So I think that was our biggest uh, case here in the first half. Uh, so obviously you saw that the other running backs were running with a ball like this, and so was there something that your defensive coaches uh, let the defense know to strip that ball? Because as soon as like um, as soon as they started carrying the ball like that, all of a sudden you start seeing in the second half turnover after turnover after turnover after turnover. It was like four fumbles in a row, and you guys capitalized on them, and that that led to your success in the game. Uh, and, what happened? There? Well, you know, I mean, we teach we teach tackling and stripping and and uh, all those things to create turn turnovers are huge in a football game. You saw what the first half, where, you know, to our detriment, what happened, and then in the second half they had a case of the of the turnovers, and, and we were able to capitalize. I think that was the difference in the game is they weren't able to score points off our turnovers, and we in the second half were able to score off theirs. They energized us, and, and we were just able to uh, take that and put that in the points. Defensive points. Did you make any adjustments in the, on the offensive side of the ball at halftime? Yeah. You guys really seem to start moving the ball down, yeah. you know, making plays in the passing game. Yeah, one thing that um, uh, one thing that's really energized us is going to a huddle, and uh, again tonight, you know, we decided to. Up the tempo of the offense, we started to, to convert and make plays, and uh, for whatever reason that is, and, you know, we play better in the, in the no huddle. You changed punters in uh, somewhere somewhere in the second half, I think. Uh, what was the decision to go with Frank Marino as a as a backup punter? Yeah, we have two really good punters, and uh, you know, Jose is good, and Tank, you know, Tank plays receiver, and uh, but he's he really punts about well. I thought that uh, Jose, after the, the first punt, the, the first uh, snap that went over his head, I thought that um, you know he didn't he didn't feel uh, very confident at that point. So I made the switch to Tank, and, and uh, we both those guys can kick the ball. And I thought Tank tonight was the was the hot hand. This week your uh, defense carried the game. What defensive adjustments did you guys make in practice to prepare for the game? Yeah. Well, you know, like I keep on telling you guys, every every week the, the game is a different animal. Santa Barbara, they've been a successful rushing team, and so we knew we had to stop the run. We, we, we were able to um, game plan for it. We were able to prepare for it. We had two weeks to, to work on some of our deficiencies, and uh, I think we were much better tonight on uh, defense than we've been. Yeah, you scored at the touchdown at the end of the first half. How important was that, having momentum going into halftime? Yeah, I thought that was key. Uh, you know, we were really spinning our wheels, and and to get a touchdown and make it a 9-7 game. I thought at that point it was just a matter of time. You know, we went into the into halftime and made some adjustments. And, uh, you know, just I think everybody felt confident that we would come out here in the second half and put together. You know, I, 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 if anybody has seen us all year, you know, we, we have the capability of putting it together and we did the second half. Yeah, you, had, you talked about the team being un emotionally uneven. And, you know, you said coming out of the second half, you, you, you said to the crowd, Watch what we can do now. What did you exactly mean, and what got you just to, to get out of character? Because that's unlike you. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I was specifically directing it to the crowd, but I was trying to motivate my team. And uh, in, in, in saying, watch what we do now, I was, I was, I was reconfirming my commitment and my, my belief in our team. And I thought that, you know, we were going to go ahead and play, you know, Corsair football, which is, which is more what we did in the second half. So I. I, you know, I wasn't trying to incite anybody. I was trying to talk, to remind our team of uh, that, that I had confidence in what we were going to do in the second half. Would you single out anyone uh, in particular of having a good game or a great game today? Actually? You know, I thought Chris Comas, and you know, obviously those are you know, two big touchdowns that, that he got. And, you know, Daniel Pipkin does some really nice things. Uh, he covered two fumbles, and mm -hmm. you know, he runs the ball, but he also is on every special team. Uh, Rico Wright had two interceptions, uh, two interceptions on defense, and Alfonso continues to really, really get improved. And his second half, I thought he threw the ball extremely well. Do you feel like the team in the first half got caught up in the beat setting, you know, close to the beat with the black stage, the music, and everything? Do you feel like the team got a little caught up? You know, actually, I think the bye. You know, we haven't played in two weeks, and uh, sometimes as much as we try and, and try and you know keep the bullets live in practice, and we do. I thought we had some really nice practices. I thought, you know, we came out and we had to shake some of the rust off and, and get the competition uh, juices flowing again. And then, you know, two-hour bus ride and, you know, guys guys are asleep on the bus. And, 
you know, it's you know we try to we bump the music in the locker room, we try to wake him up, but you know, obviously we you know, we didn't play very well to start the game. Okay. All right. Thank you, Coach. I got a couple more. Um, yes, you know, quarterback went out for Santa Barbara, had a, an injury, it looked like he might have busted his ankle. But, you know, that seemed like a momentum builder. You guys scored a touchdown, you got a fumble recovery, and then right back, you take the lead, and you sort of just put it away, and it was just free for all. Yeah. Um, you know, unfortunately, the, you know, their quarterback got hurt. I'm not sure if that was their backup to begin with, mm -hmm. but they've struggled at the quarterback position. And, uh, yeah, it, it gave us momentum, and uh, obviously, we don't wish ill on, on anybody else, but it was, it, was nice to, it was nice to be able to get him out of the game. And, and uh, we hope he plays next week, but it was good to get him out for this week. Yeah, first one in a month. How's your team feeling? How do you look forward to the rest of the league? The team is really excited. You know, we're 1-0 in conference. We're 3-2 overall. And uh, I think we're an improving football team. Uh, you know, I, I'm pleading with my team to we can play four quarters uh, like we played in the second half. And I think that, you know, some, some good